they will also recognize that he is the anointed because that's the true root meaning of messiahs as well as of christ so as we go into the next level of this study we're going to now go into the greek you understand we're going to go into the greek and here we have the greek from the texas receptus now as we look into the greek we see the word messiahs messiahs here host sd Mether may neo neo christos in other words the messiah which is being interpreted the christ now this is g3323 the g3323 so let's go into the g3323 for a moment and look at messiahs let's get a little more closer detail on this greek this Greekization of a Hebrew word. They could have kept it Messiahs. But then from the Greek perspective, since many of the Hebrews were being socialized in Greek, like many of us speak English, they would have lost track of this idea. So the idea had to be explained to them. It's like if we stop saying Christ and we stop saying Messiah and we just say anointed, this will make it very much clearer to a lot of English-speaking people. This is the same reason why they stopped using Mashiach or Moshiach, the Hebrew, and started to use the Greek. Because in that region of the world, in the world at that time, was coming under the Greek influence like today's world is under the English influence. If you say something in Amharic, a lot of Rastas and others won't understand but if you interpret it into English they will understand so here we have the Strong's G3323 Messiahs now what's interesting and we want to take clips of all of this so that when we go into the video part of this you'll be able to see exactly what we're looking at and what we're quoting from if you look at the root word etymology over here it says of Hebrew origin the H4899. And that would take you to Moshiach in the Hebrew. Then it says C, G5547, Christos. So what they're telling us is that this word Messiah, which is a distortion of the Hebrew Moshiach or Moshiach, has two origins. The original origin is the Hebrew. According to the Jesenius and the Strong's Concordance, is H4899. But then, in, since it's being interpreted as the Christos or the Christ, it has G5547. So, there's two roads right here. There's one, the Hebrew original, and then is the Greek, what the people were commonly speaking. Like we said today, if we just say anointed, it is Haile Selassie I, the anointed king of kings of Ethiopia upon the throne of David. Yes, he is. Yes, he is the anointed king of kings. That, that's a fact. No dispute about that. The evidence and the witnesses are already there in the record. We have evidence of that. Now, if we say Haile Selassie I is the Christ, everyone will get up in arms because of their ignorance. If we say he's the Messiah, they'll get up in arms because of their ignorance. They'll say, he's not Jesus. And we never said he's Jesus. We never said Haile Selassie is Jesus Christ. We said Haile Selassie is the Christ because Christ means the Messiah or Messiah, Moshiach. And that means, in English, the anointed. And they tell you right here, under the outline of biblical usage. Under the outline of biblical usage, it says Messiah equals anointed. So you have it right in front of you. Messiah equals anointed. But now here's how they confuse a lot of people. Here's how a lot of folks really get confused about this matter. Because if you if you look right here, it says one, the Greek form of what? Messiah. So Messiah is the Greek form of Messiah. And Messiah is the English form of Moshiach. You see a lot of folks get lost. In translation but then they say the secondary meaning is a name of Christ wait if Messiah is being interpreted the Christ 
how is Messiah a name of Christ? You see how they confuse you? They try to tell you that Messiah or Messiah, the Greek form of Messiah, is another name of Christ. Instead of that, Christ is an interpolation or interpretation of the Hebrew Moshi, Moshiach, which in the English is Messiah. Then it'll be very clear. And that basically means, as they say, anointed. That will clear up all of the confusion right there. So when we say that Haile Selassie the first is the Christ, is the anointed king of kings of Ethiopia, he is the Messiah. He is the Christ. You see, it's, it's very clear. It's extremely clear like that. Now, the next thing that we want to just make a mention of The next thing that we want to make mention of is that most folks forget that before this time in the Gospels, before John chapter 1 verse 41, that Yehoshua, his Hebrew name, or Iesus, his Greek name, was known as Iesus of Nazareth, Yehoshua of Nazareth. You understand? Now, see, Orthodox Christian Ecclesiastes, the Ecclesiastics, you know, the clergy of the Orthodox Church, Ethiopian or Catholic or otherwise, they they tell us that Jesus of Nazareth and the Christ were one, and the Messiah were one, and that the true name of this remarkable person, they tell us, was Jesus Christ. Now, the Orthodox also tell us that this man of Galilee was the very eternal God clothed in flesh of man that men might see his glory. Now, of course, when you study this, this, this kind of doctrine or teaching that the Orthodox and, and Christian dumb, dumb Christians uh, teach us is totally at variance, at difference with the teachings of Jesus Yehoshua himself and of his apostles according to the Bible, according to the Gospels, according to the Word. Now, let's understand this a little bit better. We need to understand this a little bit better. What is meant by the Christ? As we have gone through so far in this groundation, we've explained directly from the text, directly from the scriptures, going into the concordance, going into the word study, you understand, that Christ is the Greek form of, or interpretation of Messiah. Messiah is the English form of Mashiach, which is the Hebrew, and all of these words have in common the meaning in their respective languages of the anointed, of the anointed. And we're going to touch on what anointing means from a Hebrew perspective. But what is meant by the Christ as the word is used in scriptures? Now, the word Christ, we have learned and we know, was derived from the Greek word Christos. And it means anointed. Now, it is identical with the Hebrew word Mashiach or Moshiach, Messiah. Now, the word Christ in itself does not refer to any particular person. See, this is what a lot of Christians really don't understand. The word Christ in itself, they will also recognize that he is the Anointed, because that's the true root meaning of Messiah as well as of Christ. 